Hi, it's Angela from North Carolina. And right as I was fixing to make this video of my finished bathroom, some deer ran by and turned on our new motion lights. But they were so fast, I couldn't catch them. But we can sit here in the bathtub. We had the new motion lights put on right at my tub last Friday. And we can watch the deer go by. See, the lights just went off. But it's completely finished, except we need trim around this door and we need to get the crown mold around the ceiling. But I love my crystal lights. They look kind of funny right now because I can't find the box of special lights I bought that almost twinkle. They're like crystal lights that reflect color, but they're Swarovski crystal and they during the day the sun comes through and there's sparkles all over the bathroom that go out into the hallway and then this glowing thing here is my vanity that lights up it has a defogger a night light when the labradoodle walks down the hall at night the night light comes on because she's so tall it turns it on but it lights up it's recessed into the tile so it doesn't take up any room it has two USB ports and two plugs to plug things and charge things. So that's really nice for people that are getting ready. Not that I have anywhere to go these days, but it's nice and organized and I like the glass shelves. And you adjust everything here. See, I just dimmed the lights and cut them off again. But my vanity, I love it. See, it's concrete and it hangs. And my toilet also hangs and has really neat flusher on the wall. So it's rather stark with all this black, elegant tile that I absolutely love. But I think my little recessed area makes it look nice. And then I think that these lights kind of give it a little something, as does the medicine cabinet. I understand that they're back in style, and I can see why. But we really are enjoying it. My only problem, I bought a medicine cabinet. Let me turn up a light here. It's a, excuse me, a linen tower. See, I love it, I love it, but it's a little bit too deep for this bathroom. And I may have to use it somewhere else in the house, maybe in the kitchen, and have something built up tall. Um, it is a little hard to walk past, so my biggest mistake was in this piece, this linen tower. But it's really nice, you know, because it holds all the towels and things, so I love it, except for the fact that it's a little close to the tub. That was my biggest mistake, but that's not something that can't be fixed because this is a piece of furniture. Well, thanks for watching, and I appreciate everyone that kept up with the remodel. If you started with this, you know that we started the remodel six months ago and then we had some problems and had to fire our contractor. We had to order more tile and then my husband and I both got the coronavirus. So that held us up quite a bit. But we are 100% finished if you don't count the trim and the wood. But we love it, love it, love it. So if you're ever in the Charlotte area and you wanna come by and soak and look at the deer go by or lay here at night and count airplanes going overhead, please come. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.